the first construction what they are given is the line division when a line is given to you you have to divide that line in a given ratio the method is like this they are going to give the ratio 2 is to, in this example the ratio is given as 2 is to 3 you have to divide the given line in the ratio 2 is to 3 for that one the first thing is you have to find the total ratio given total ratio means this is given 2 is to 3 therefore total ratio is equal to 2 plus 3 2 plus 3 is what 5 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 first step try a line he is given some measurement first step is you have to draw the line and you have to name the line as a b or p q whatever it may be in this case i name the line as a b the given line may be in some measurement and uh, i draw the line the line is named as a b that is the first step second step is you have to draw another line that makes an acute angle with a given line means like this another line no measurement is required simply draw a line but that line makes an acute angle with a given line the given line has to be divided in the ratio 2 is to 3 the total ratio we calculated as 5 now the new line what we are drawn that is acute angle with the uh, line given we have to divide that line into 5 equal parts by using compass you have to take the compass and divide this line with any of the convenient radius divide like this draw arcs like this how many arcs you have to make 5 arcs why you 5 arcs because the total ratio is 5 5 divisions you have to make like this you have to make 5 division you can name this lines uh, arcs as a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 this, this is the second step first step is drawing the line naming it as ab Second step is draw a line making an acute angle with a given line and divide that line into uh, uh, total number of equal parts given in the ratio. Now, join the next step is the third step is join the end point of the line with the last division. But last division is A5. A5 and B you have to join. Now, this line has to be divided in the ratio 2 is to 3. 2 is to 3 means A2, see A1, A2, A3, A4, A5 is there. A2 is the ratio. A2 is the part. That, there it has to be cut. Therefore, the method of cutting is like this. Go to A5, draw an arc. By keeping the compass as A5 as center, draw an arc with a convenient radius. With the same radius, I repeat, with the same radius, with A2 as center, draw another arc. I repeat, first, by keeping A5 as center, draw an arc. With the same radius, by keeping A2 as a center, you have to draw an arc. Why A2? Because we have to divide in the ratio 2 is to 3. A2 is the second part. Right? Now, then come back to A5 find the width of the arc find the width of this particular angle the that uh, line made an angle with a5 you have to measure the width using compass take the compass measure that width same width you have to measure here also you have written one more arc at a2 same width and draw an arc draw an arc of same radius of the width of the arc written in A5. Now you have to join A2 and that arc. You got a line which is parallel to the line drawn uh, that is B and A5. Now this line segment is divided in the ratio 2 is to 3. Very nice construction. See the first problem of the textbook is try a line segment of length 7.6 cm and divide it in the ratio 5 is to 8 measure the two parts first step what is the length of the line given 7.6 i name the line as ab you have to write the given part first ab is equal to 7.6 what is the ratio we have to divide 5 is to 8 therefore total ratio is equal to 5 plus 8 is equal to 13 
right working part is over now the first step draw the line how simple it is first step is draw the line and name the line as ab over first first step is over drawing the line of length what is the length of the line 7.6 cm draw a line of length 7.6 cm name it as ab second step draw a line that line should make an acute angle with a given line ab draw a line no measurement is required draw a line but that line has to make an acute angle with the given line ab now what is the total ratio 13 now this line the new line that you have drawn that should be divided into 13 equal parts from a therefore take the compass take any convenient radius and go on draw arcs like this first second arc third arc fourth one fifth one sixth one seventh one eighth one ninth one tenth one eleventh one twelfth one thirteenth one how many arcs thirteen arcs we made in the new line all the arcs are at equal distance, same radius you have to cut, right? Why do we have to make it 13? Because the total ratio is 13. From where we started, from the point A, where that line made an acute angle with a given line. Now name this arcs as A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7, A8, A9, A10, 11, 12, 13, right? Now join, the third step is, Two steps are over. The third step is join the end point of the line and the last division that is 13th division. Now we have to be, divide this in the ratio 5 is to 8. Now what I do is identify the fifth 5 is to 8 means A5 you have to measure. See the blue color it, it is shown that is A5. You have to divide there. Therefore, what you have to do is go to A3, draw an arc. Any convenient radius you can take. Draw an arc from A3. A3 A13 as center. A13 as a center, draw an arc with a convenient radius. With the same radius, with A5 as radius, draw an arc. The, radi the radius of both the arcs should be same. One is arc at A13, another arc is at A5. Now find the width of the arc at A13 with the same width, with the same width, with the help of compass, you have to find the width with the help of a compass, with the same width, draw an arc. Now you have to join A5 and that intersecting of arcs. This line segment should be parallel to the line segment B A13. And now this line segment divided the given line AB in the ratio for 5 is to 8. And if you measure, you get 2.9 and 4.7. Right? This is the way you have to divide. 